Compound interest is interest on the principal amount plus any interest that has already accrued. As an example, let's say that you invest $1,000 in an account that compounds every month and the yearly interest rate is 5%. Since the interest compounds every month, at the end of one month, you'll have the initial $1,000 you invested plus the interest made on that amount. Since the yearly interest rate is 5%, we must calculate the monthly interest rate. And we do this by dividing the 5% yearly rate by the number of months in a year, 12. To do this, we first have to convert the 5% to a decimal. And we do this by dropping the percent sign and moving the decimal two places to the left to get 0 0.05. Now we have 0 0.05 over 12, which calculates to 0 0.004167 rounded off. Next, we multiply this monthly interest rate by the $1,000 investment, which equals $4.17 rounded off. So at the end of one month, after the interest payment, the account will have the initial investment of $1,000 plus the $4.17 interest payment. So $1,004.17 will be in the account. At the end of the second month, another interest payment will be made, just as we did after one month. To calculate the payment, we multiply the new balance of $1,004.17 times the monthly interest rate of 0 .004167, which calculates to $4.18 rounded off. So after the interest payment, the account will have accrued the balance of $1,004.17 plus the $4.18 interest payment for month two. So $1,008.35 will be in the account. After month three, the interest payment will be $4.20 and the account will have $1,012.55 in it. And here's a chart that shows month by month the interest paid and the total in the account after the interest payment. So after one year of $1,000 investment, the account has $1,051.16 in it. It made $51.16 in interest, and you can see the interest payments keep increasing. This happens because you're making interest on interest. For instance, after month 12, the interest payment was $4.36. We know that the interest on the $1,000 initial investment is $4.17, because that's what it was after month 1 before there were any interest payments. So we can add in another column and title it interest on interest. This is each month's interest payment minus the $4.17 interest payment on the principal or initial investment. If we total this column up, we get $1.12. So after one year, you made $1.12 of interest on interest. This may seem very small, but how much would be in this account after 10 years? Well, it will have $1,647.01 in the account. So $647.01 paid in interest. And of that, $179.97 would be interest on interest. And what if you invested $5,000 at 5% for 10 years? That would calculate to $8,235.05. So $3,235.05 paid in interest. And of that, $735.45 would be interest on interest. And that is the power of compound interest. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.